What we have in our short informational video for today is an add-on. I believe it's very helpful, it's very handy, and it's also quite cool to, to explore, you know, to lose and spend some time into when you are bored and you don't know what to do in game or you're waiting for something, which is Narcissus. I want to talk about it because it's not usually what gets talked about whenever I make some of my, you know, UI and add-ons videos because it's not a, a combat add-on, it's not a UI add-on, so usually it doesn't get talked about. Also, the add-on itself is not super popular, you know, it's it's got like one-fifth of the downloads of add-on skins or one-fifteenth of the downloads of Gathermate or even one-twentieth of the downloads of TomTom, so it's not, it's, it's not relatively, it's not very known. So I wanted to share, I wanted to spread the knowledge about this add-on a little bit more because I think it could be quite handy for many players. And no, I am not being sponsored, I'm not being paid by the creator of this add-on to talk about it for today. So the add-on Narcissus is about uh, playing around with character models in game. This could be very useful if you are someone who wants to take the character model out of the game, like for example if you want to make thumbnails for videos like I do, or if you might want to, to use the character models for other means, that's very very helpful. It can also be helpful to play around if you are a transmog junkie, if you want to know, if you want to see how certain things look before you actually get to use them and you want to do it in game, you don't want to go and start scouring database sites like wowhead etc etc this is much faster to do in game when you start and pick up this add-on narcissus and you click it looks like some rpg trash you know what is this you know it's it's basically your character sheet except more fancy right it's cooler it looks cooler and fancier and nicer but what do i care about this nothing that's right where things get cool is when you go into photo mode. Photo mode is exactly what it sounds like. It puts you into a photo mode of your current character. Now, where things get much cooler is, first of all, you have a few things for your default character, like, and, and your default background, like, you know, changing the lightning to, to give you a more photo mode or changing also the background, you can hide the player, you know, magically make him disappear so you can just be right in the middle. You can also change some more, you know, role play elements of the of, of the scene. For example, you can add text balloons, you can add advanced speech balloons, you can add talking heads, you can add floating subtitles, and you can add black bar subtitles. All of this is for, for a more, you know, role play feeling to the whole scene what makes this even cooler talking about taking out the character model is that you can turn the model with a green screen in the back this already makes it very easy to then take away take out this model from the background you can also do things like changing the lightning of your model in whichever way you you want you can also change the color of the lightning as well as customize your own color if you want to what is also much cooler is that first of all you can choose whichever animation you want for example well that's it's an ugly dance you can ch you can just pick whatever you can take the emotes you can take attacks swimming falling jumping whatever you want what is also cooler is that you can stop the animation right here and then choose whichever frame you want like let's say this one and then you can pick the angle and that's your model if you want it like this what makes this much much cooler than all of this is the fact that this is just your character you can go and pick very simply someone else Let's say you are an Alex Straza simp. And I would agree with you, by the way, right? You can find, there you go. You can find the model of Alex Straza. There's probably gonna be a whole bunch of different models because they are found in game in different you know, versions of Alex Straza. 
and there you go there is your alexstrasza that you can pick up now even more funny you can give alexstrasza weapons why not <laughs> we can now have a badass dual wielding alexstrasza back to the original point you can still choose the animations so you can now have angry looking alexstrasza dual wielding weapons slashing you in half like this that's a funny pose that is something also you can pick out and take away as a character model with narcissus and it's very very simple right it took me about five seconds you can get rid of alexstrasza pick someone else you know what do you want even the new the new character in game the the new character for 10.1 right the new aspects like Let's add an N. There you go. Here's Vyronoth, one of the dragons that's gonna be up in 10.1. Or the main guy, the main baddie. There you go. You can pick him up as well. You can do the same thing even if it's not a human. You can still pick up the animations, right? And choose whichever you want. Fit it like this, and there's your dragon. So this is very useful, right, to pick out the model, whichever models you want. You can use a proper software to, to take this out or use a free online software. That's going to be, of course, much more, you know, scuffed. If you pick something like this for free, you want to upload something like Thumbs Up Ration, you know, there you go. You get it removed, but the final image is going to be, you know, lower resolution, but still, it's going to do the job. Or, as I said, you can do it if you want to try out some of your transmogs. Rather than trying to play around with your actual transmog NPC, you can just pick it up from, from here, as we just did. Go back to, the, to 3D, put him in the middle, and then you can change. First of all, you can already change all of your outfits without having to spend a dime and then try out new weapons on them, as we just tried, like this, and then try them around. You can even do extra things with visuals and add animations to the effects, but that's more for fancy, for fancy pictures, you know? Things like, for example, uh, grand spells, fire, you can pick something like blast and put him on autoplay. So now he's gonna blast on autoplay or things like shockwave on autoplay on top of the blast, blast phoenix. There you go, now it's just a fire orgy, but uh, that's not really necessary. Yeah, just <laughs> let's just remove this, there you go. So all of this is for character, basically character manipulation, whichever way you want, if it's, a, if it's your own character, if it's someone else's character, if it's an NPC. So you can even go deeper than this. You can go, of course, for the equipment slots as well as other effects. When you look at something like the frame, like the character select, you can change or even add the login screen for whatever reason. All of this for the sake of basically modifying whichever character you want, whether it's an NPC, your own character, some other person, some other player's character, this add-on is going to allow you to, to modify basically anything you want about the character you select. You can even, as I said, add some cooler things that I haven't talked about, like besides, besides just yourself, as I said, what, what about someone else? What about we go back and pick up, not, not this Alex, and pick up this Alex? But you're not just happy with Alex. You want to officially make it a threesome, which means we are gonna add Yesera to the mix. There you go. Now you have a triple. You can then select each of them individually. Me, Alex, and Yesera change their animations individually and whatever you want individually, and then have them all together. That is also 
something you can do with this anthem. And I thought, you know, it was quite cool, quite interesting, uh, given that it's not very popular to give some more information about the things you can do with Narcissus, in particular with character model manipulation, whether it is for you to take out the models yourself, to have your models to put out in some other video or some pictures or whatever, or if it is to try out things for your transmog, for example, try out things to see how weapons look or how things look on other races, for example, the armor or the weapons, etc., etc. That's something you can do as well on this add-on. That was the whole point of this PSA for today based on this add-on. That was because, of course, I was trying to work on some videos and I realized the usefulness of this add-on and I thought, I think it's good if I shared the knowledge of this add-on with more players, given that it's not terribly popular at the moment. Maybe this is going to give way for more players to try this out. This was the point of today's video. I will, of course, leave you behind with the link to the, the download for this add-on if you want to try it out, even just for a bit. With this out of the way, I'm going to leave you to the rest of the weekend. Thanks, of course, as usual, to the Patreon supporters, of course, for the contribution and the help. There are other ways to support myself and this channel. You can like and comment down below, subscribe to the channel itself. You can, of course, also follow me over on Twitter, as well as following me over on my stream on Twitch. So with these social unnecessarities out of the way, thank you guys again for watching. See you guys soon. And in the meantime, this is my uh, favorite spot, by the way for recording live videos. I really like it. I like the atmosphere and the backdrop. So just so you know, you might find me in here from time to time in EU. <laughs>